Hello children, hello everyone. Welcome to the English Classes Series version 2.0. This is still your teacher, Leo. And for this video, we will be focusing on the second part of the kinds of nouns which now focuses on the abstract and concrete nouns. Let us start. Alright, so I have now here two groups of words. Okay, so now let me read the words on group A. We have here pen, cake, egg, bowl, and fruits. And for group B, we have here words love, peace, hope, happiness, and courage. Now, as we see, words in group A can be seen, touched, smelled, tasted, and heard. Meanwhile, words on group B cannot be seen, cannot be touched, cannot be heard, cannot be tasted, and cannot be smelled. And these two groups of words actually fell into two groups. We have here first, we have the abstract nouns and we have the concrete nouns. Now let us first study what are concrete nouns. So concrete nouns are nouns that can be seen, heard, smelled, tasted, and touched. Meaning, so when we say concrete noun, so these are nouns wherein we can use our five senses. Our sense of sight, sense of smell, sense of hearing, sense, uh, sense of taste, and sense of touch. Now, examples for concrete nouns include mountain, trumpet, noodles, and perfume. So those are concrete nouns. Now, the other group, okay, they actually fall under abstract nouns. So, let us answer, what are abstract nouns? So, abstract nouns are nouns that cannot be seen, heard, smelled, tasted, and touched. In other words, abstract nouns, we cannot use our senses. Why? Because these can only be thought or felt. Now, examples of abstract nouns include idea, happiness, kindness, and beauty. So, those are the examples of abstract nouns. Alright, so let's have some activity. Okay, let's try this. I want you now to get a pen and a paper. Okay, hurry up and let's start now. So this is what you're going to do. Okay, I want you to tell whether the nouns are concrete or abstract. Okay, are you ready? Now let us start. So these are the words. Okay, do it quietly. All right, so time is up. Okay, so let's answer. So number one, we have peace. Peace is abstract. Number two, of course, we have here water. Now, water is concrete. Why? Because we can touch, we can taste, we can see, and sometimes we can smell. Number three, we have here loneliness. So loneliness is an abstract now. Number four, juice is, of course, a concrete noun. Why? Because we can see, we can smell, we can taste, and we can touch. And last, 
the word number five we have here justice of course justice is an example of an abstract noun all right and i hope you got all those five words correctly okay so virtual club once again okay virtual club point i want to thank everyone for watching my video don't forget to subscribe on my channel and ring the notification bell so that you can be notified once i upload the next succeeding lesson videos once again this is teacher leo saying goodbye and wishing you to be safe every every day